be in or have in someone's confidence to supersize and grow your business. This is my teddy bear. I tell them everything. Not really. <laughs> but our topic today, our idiom today, confidence related, is to be in one's confidence or to have in one's confidence or to take into one's confidence. <clears throat> and it means, of course, <clears throat> trust, belief or trust in. Actually, 100% confidence and belief and trust that if you pass information on to someone, it will be kept private. They will keep your secrets. You might tell them a secret, but you trust that they won't tell anyone else. They'll keep your secret. So who do we do this with and how and why and when would we want to be in someone's confidence or have someone in our confidence? We want to be in someone's confidence because it means that they trust us implicitly with the most secretive information. We want to have people in our confidence that we absolutely positively trust. So maybe it's a business confidant, maybe it's a significant other or a partner, uh, maybe it's a mastermind where everything is held confidential, uh, coaches, some coaches, some consultants, experts that we've hired, uh, usually there's some legal contracts and agreements in place, some non-competes, some non-disclosures, things like that, to maintain information that might be shared in those relationships. Uh, why? mainly to protect ourselves and our proprietary information in the business as we're growing it. Because sometimes we need advisors and specialists to help us, but we also don't want them taking that information and either selling it, using it for themselves, or uh, sharing it with other people, especially our competition, right? Because that's some of our most secret competitive advantage information. So <clears throat> positive experiences build confidence. I don't think anybody would argue with that. But my question for you today is, who do you trust? Who do you have as your confidential and advisors? Who uh, sh who do you have advise you and in what areas and aspects of your business and your life? There are some things, I will admit, I don't share with anyone. I don't tell anyone because I've actually gotten burned in the past where I've thought something was in confidence and clearly stated that it was in confidence and then that information was shared both on a personal and a professional level so i learned early on in my career in my corporate career as well as my businesses that there are key pieces of information that we maintain control over and we don't necessarily share with anyone uh, and people can argue with me on that but uh, any relationship can go south uh, whether we expect it to or not. Usually the relationships that go south are the ones we don't expect to. And so as much as I believe that it's essential that we trust and we take care of the people that we love and care about, there's some things that need to be kept confidential. I would say most of our passwords need to be kept confidential from people that might mess up certain things and certain uh, information that we have access to and we don't want other people to be able to control or have access to. So this idiom, of course, like the others about confidence, has been around since about the 1500s. Um, and it, it means it's meant trust from the 1500s on. So who do we trust? Who do we have confidence in? Who do we tell anything to? Who do we expect to have our back no matter what? And what do we share with them? I'd love to know your experience with this. Share in the comments below. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow for our final confidence-related idiom for this part of the year to coincide with our annual challenge. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.